Well, now a story of what's working here in Dayton. Officers are using paintbrushes to combat crime and come together with our community. We were the first to tell you about this groundbreaking graffiti task force. And tonight, Robert Lowry is back to show us more about exactly how this works. Robert? Well, Mark, it's a simple but unique task the Dayton police are undertaking. They are taking walls that have been tagged by graffiti and covering them with works of art. This morning, we got a look at the beginning of their masterpiece on Nassau Street. Rollers and paint cans line this area of Nassau Street. Artists are taking over the wall. It's very exciting for me. I'm really happy to see this project come together. It's even inspired neighbors to take up the brush. I just drove by, saw people working out in a charitable way, and I just wanted to extend a hand as well. We want this to be a project with us and the community to work together. It's the type of progress Dayton police hoped to see when they created the East Dayton Graffiti Task Force. A little more than a month after its creation, the task force is priming their second wall. The night before, this wall was tagged with graffiti. Now, police and the community are making their own tags to keep graffiti out of the area. We haven't found a direct link to, to crime that's related to, to the taggings we see, but it's perception of crime, and that's what we want to help the neighborhoods. This is our skyline of our skyscrapers. Pretty soon, this wall, once tagged with graffiti, will be a masterpiece of collaboration, a mural showing where Dayton has been and the dream of what it can be. It's great to see community members coming out, pitching in, helping me, getting covered in paint. It's great. And I love the support that I've been getting from the neighbors. They're all really excited to see something cool go on this wall rather than all the tags and the graffiti. It's already got one neighbor's seal of approval. I like to see where they're improving the community and trying to beautify it. I really like that. A unique approach to community police efforts using rollers and paint to combat a neighborhood eyesore. And Dayton police are still searching for artists and volunteers to help with their murals. If you would like to help, you're asked to call 333-7440. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.